Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see about common dialog control present in Visual Basic. So, what is common dialog control? It is one of the active X control present in Visual Basic. With the help of this dialog control, you can access and interact with the dialog boxes and dialog windows present in Windows based application. So, some of the operations like opening a file, closing, saving, printing a file or even changing the color or a font of your text will be pressing some commands. So if you press on that command, one dialog window will be pop up. So in that one, you will be selecting and saving a file. For example, if I want to save this project, I'll go to this save project and click on this. So as soon as I click on this, a save file as window is pop up. So this is called as a dialog box. So using the common dialog controls, you can able to access the dialog boxes. So we'll see how to work with this dialog control. So as soon as you open your Microsoft Visual Basic, this is a default window, you can see it. So now I'll double, I'll design an interface. So we'll place a label. Go to the caption and give as enter. Text. So this is the title and one text box to display or enter the text. So go to text and erase the content. Now we'll place three commands. So this is the first command and the second command, third command. So go to the caption and give as back color. This is to change the background of your text box. And the second command for changing the font color. So go to the caption and give as four color. And this first command for changing the font size and style of your font. So I'll give font. So now we developed our interface. So to use this dialog control, you have to see whether your dialog control is present on this toolbox or not. So here it is not present. To make it visible, just go to here and right click. You will get a components option. Click on that. So in this component dialog, you can see a Microsoft common dialog control 6.0. Just click on that and press apply. So one more control is present on your toolbox. So click on this and place it here. So this will not be appear on your output screen. So you don't have to place a, a necessary place. So you can place it wherever it is. We'll start coding for this. Just double click on this font and type common dialog. So your dialog control box name is, I'll show you. Just click on this. In the property, you can see it. The name is common dialog. So I'll change the name and give us dialog. Now double click on this font and give dialog dot show font enter now text one dot font equals to your dialog box names dot font name this will display a font names that is like 
Microsoft, Alala, Chinya, like that, different names will be there. No, that will be shown here. So I'll just copy this statement and paste. So this is for names and this for size. So type here size and remove this name and type here also size. And this for italic. So to make your text italized. And here also italic. And this statement for bold. Here also bold. This is coding for your font. That is command 1. Now go back and click on this four color. Type here dialog dot show color so this will display a color window that is color dialog window so text to one dot four color equals to dialog dot color now finally for the back color so i'll copy this command two statements and paste in in command three change this four color to the back color so type back color so this is about coding now we'll start executing it just click on this so this is our output window i'll type a text hi Good morning. So this is my text. So now you can see that it is bold and simple text style. So if I want to change this text style, I click on this font. You will get a color font window. So here you can select this uh, style and I'll make it bold. I'll reduce the size of my font. I'll set it to 11. Now if you click OK, the text will be changed. See here, hi, good morning. So if I want to change my four, four color, that is my font color, click on this four color. You can place any color you need to place it. Just click OK. See here, my four color has changed. Now I'll change the background color. So click on this back color. Set any color click ok see here the back color is displayed so this is the main use of this common dialog control so basic uses we are changing the style and size of your font and changing the font color and the background color so the main use of this common dialog box is just accessing the dialog windows present in your system and interacting with this so I hope this common dialogue control usage is understood and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Keep supporting, keep learning. Bye bye, take care, stay tuned.